I'm Bill Yaley, Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and I'm the guy that wrote One Man's Trash, the history of the cigar box guitar. And one thing I've been trying to look up here is, uh, what's the deal with Spiel? What's the deal with Spiel? All right. Hey guys, it's Shane Spiel. Welcome to What's the Deal with Spiel? Oh yeah, just for Halloween, I figured I'd use one of my bone slides. New bone slide over at stubbyslide.com. I'm going to give you guys some really cool, interesting, and weird ideas for instrument building. I've gone through my archives, and I got some really cool old videos of strange instruments I've made in the past. But first, you're wondering, what the heck am I playing? This is a one-string electric diddly bow this was made by ted crocker this was built even before cigar box nation was created he had an old rocking chair and he dismantled it used parts of it and created this crazy one string now you have what looks to be part of a seat here and part of an arm on the back it can be laid straight or flat on a table and play it which is kind of weird and it's also strange to hold, but it's a neat experimental instrument. It's a hand-wound pickup. He did his own pickup there, and the tuner is in the back. He even had a little plaque put on there. So that's what I started this out with. I ran it through a distortion pedal and a delay pedal and a phaser just to have a little fun. Let me put this down, and let's talk about interesting ideas for building cigar box guitars. Wait a second. I almost forgot. We're also going to give away a guitar again this week, third week in a row. End of this video, I'm going to tell you who won last week's guitar, and then, yeah, let's do it. I am going to give away my CB Giddy Rodeo King guitar. This is the guitar I have been using in Blues University lessons. It is a fretted three-string guitar. <laughs> It is one really cool kit. Now I built this from the CB Giddy kit. The Rodeo King, it comes with its own license plate. CB Giddy, thank you for sending me this kit. Okay, cool ideas. Let's talk about cool ideas for cigar box guitars. I've been going through my archives, uh, trying to see all those different things. You gotta understand, I've built thousands of instruments over my life and they're scattered all over the world. And as I would build them, I'd make little demo videos. I still have a lot of those. So I've gone through some of them and I pulled them out and I wanna show them to you. First of all, let's talk about an instrument that's not a cigar box guitar. There was an instrument I created one time called the Poverty Banjo. And what it was is I had a whole bunch of round tins and I did like a normal cigar box guitar where you have the neck that goes through the box. Well, I used the same design for these King Edward tins and I called it the Poverty Banjo. It was three strings on there, the neck was a little bit thinner, but it had a really great sound. Check out the Poverty Banjo in this demo. Next, I want to take a look at some things that I showed off in my book. Where's my book? The book's supposed to be here. My book, Making Poor Man's Guitars. It's supposed to be sitting right here in my video. I was looking through it earlier and I forgot to put it back here. I'm going to talk about some instruments that were in my book. By the way, you want a little secret? The book that's always on my shelf here was a misprint. It couldn't be sold. It was printed upside down. <laughs> Nobody knows that. You want a good one? Go to stubbyslide.com and you can get an autograph copy. 
on page 43 of Making Poor Man's Guitars, I show off a cool way to do sound holes. And what I did was I took this. See this? This is a wooden ring for a humbucker pickup that is sold at cbgiddy.com. Well, I looked at one of these and I got the idea of it being a sound hole. And I went to Lowe's and you can get big pieces of this. This is like a furnace grate. And I bought a big hunk of this from Lowe's and I would cut it up into pieces and I would put it behind here and it made a cool looking sound hole. So I used it for the, what is it, the nails and screws guitar. And here's a little demo of that. Speaking of these pickup rings, um, I was completely inspired by these. I mean, I had bought them from Giddy because I was going to put them on an electric guitar, but it just had a different look. And this is the pickup ring that inspired me to make the Peep Show guitar. All right, guys, in Making Poor Man's Guitars, I show one of the coolest artistic guitars I've ever developed. It's the Peep Show. It's on page 44 and 45, and all it is is a way of creating sound hole covers that look like an old peep show slot and photo frame and inside inside the box you put a picture of a girl here you can see in the book I even show how I did it well I originally did this with a CB Giddy humbucker pickup ring and then I cut out my own well I'm proud to announce that CB Giddy is now making the peep show sound hole set and in it you get a beautifully laser engraved peep show coin slot and you go down here and it has the photo frame and if you see I've got inside there a picture a burlesque picture from 1911 I found it on Google Images and uh, printed it out on my printer put a piece of plastic over top to make it seem like glass and it's on the inside anytime I did a series of peep shows and I sold them at uh, craft festivals these were always the first to go, and it was women that bought them, more than men. The other, the other little clue to this is the picture of the girl. Don't get anything real revealing. Try to find an image on the internet that uh, just sort of, you know, implies naughtiness. <laughs> the Peep Show sound hole set. Here's another idea, and I show it off in the book again making poor man's guitars wood burning up the neck you know the old country guitars the old country stars would have their names up the neck of the guitar i always loved that and so i like to recreate that with a wood burning pen now in this one i put the text damned if i do because i was thinking what saying encompasses the blues so much and it hit me of damned if i do damned if i don't and it seems like that's a theme on so many of them well i took an old typewriter font on my computer and print it out damned if I do I put it on the neck of the guitar and then I use my wood burning pen and put it up the neck um, I still have the old demo video from that check it out right here <laughs> would be then if you have a wood burning pen and you're making a cigar box guitar what would you put up the neck you don't necessarily have to put your name you can come up with a saying you can come up with uh, art um, I challenge you come up with something wild to put up the neck of a guitar you never know what you're gonna create hold on hold on how about that time I made a ukulele out of a beer cooler my ukes broken so I made my own and uh, here it goes like this Thank you. 
Now hold on, you don't have the whole picture. It's a styrofoam uke, the styro uke. Let's get into our next little clip here. I had created two string chuggers for a while. That's actually one of my most requested is how to play a two string chugger. What is a chugger? It's a cigar box guitar played with a slide that only has two strings. Usually I would tune them like a G power chord, G and D, but I found this old demo and you got to check this out. Listen to the tuning. The tuning is B flat low and then D high. I got my The Edge guitar slide. It's made to be like Blind Willie Johnson's pocket knife. And I've got my little two string chugger here. There you go. There's just a, a, a hodgepodge of cool ideas. Last week, I told you that I hid some trivia inside my How to Play Slow Ride by Fog Hat video. In that video, on a whim, I just put a little thing at the bottom that said, When I was a child, I grew up next to a man named Bob Tro. He was one of the cast members to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And I challenged you guys, find the trivia in there and tell me who I grew up next to as a child. And so, so many people went in the comments of that video and posted the correct answer. So, I said I was going to give this away to somebody who went on the Slow Ride video and posted the correct answer. And that winner is... Floyd Jamieson. Floyd Jamieson, you won the ukulele. Now, Floyd, I recognize your name because you just bought something at stubbyslide.com. So I don't even need your address. I'm just going to pack this up and send it right to you. Thank you for everybody who entered this contest. Now, let's give another guitar away. We're just going to keep this going. My CB Giddy Rodeo King. You saw this in Blues University lessons, and now you can win it. And this is even easier than a trivia question. All you need to do is go to shanespiel.com, and on the front page, join my mailing list. That's it. Once a week, I send out an email, and it has what's going on with the different videos of the week and project ideas. So go to shanespiel.com and sign up for my mailing list. Once you're in that mailing list, you're entered to win this. I will give this away next week, Friday, October 22nd, in What's the Deal with Spiel. I have to say one other thing. You know, this, this episode is sponsored by cbgiddy.com, and I couldn't do what I do without their support. And they send me different kits to do, different parts, and they, they're truly an inspiration for all that I do. And if you did want your book and you're ordering from CB Giddy, you know what? He sells the book too. Add this book to your next order, and it'll give you so many new ideas for instruments that you're building. There you go, guys. This has been What's the Deal with Spiel? And I tell you, this little segment seems to be taking on a life of its own. Next week, I hope to give you an update on my Junkyard drum set. And who knows what else we're doing. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube, youtube.com slash Shane Spiel. Because I just filmed about five or six more How to Play Cigar Box guitar videos that will be coming out one a week. 
You guys take care. I will talk to you soon. And I forgot to throw something. There's my pick. Bye-bye.